So, welcome back to another video. In this video, I am going to be continuing my series of speed art story time. I, I don't even have a name for it just yet. So, for the people who are new here, in this series, I basically tell stories while having speed art in the background. Otherwise, it would be very boring. <laughs> Also, if you're here and also enjoyed this video, then please consider subscribing to this channel because that would help me so much and I would really appreciate it if you did. And you can also find more content like this on my channel. So gaming, I have a love-hate relationship for gaming. It's not that I hate gaming, it's more of I want to game, but my mind is just like it associates it with bad things. Sorry gamers, but I can't really get myself to like a game very often. Okay, so the last game that I really enjoyed was Mobile Legends and I recently started getting into it a bit more because of, you know, quarantine. So I've been playing it a lot more and I really enjoy playing it. Now there's not a lot of games that make me enjoy like playing it. A good example of that is Dragon City. Now if you don't know what Dragon City is, it's basically the dragon equivalent to Monster Legends if you don't know what that game is, where you basically get coins, get food, get gems, and you can battle our people, and you can gain levels, and basically just build your own empire using monsters. It's basically that, but with dragons. Now I am a huge fan for dragons, I love them to death. I used to draw a lot of dragons as a kid because I would think, oh my gosh, it's so cool. And I would dream of having a dragon and riding it around, you know, like showing up to school with my dragon being like, hey, yeah, what's up? Look at me. I got my dragon. You take the bus. Ha, <laughs> pathetic. I take my dragon. So basically, I was playing that game like nonstop. I was, you know, farming like two to three hours a day, playing it for weeks, like two weeks, I think. And I was just playing it and playing it and playing it until I got to like a god level amount of like food, dragons, I got like legendary dragons, epic dragons. It it was like a paradise, all right? But then after just like two weeks of playing, I was bored out of it. I lost interest in the game, so I just up and left it. Now some people might think, why did you leave it? Why, you know, you worked up your entire like half of your life to dedicate it to this game why did you just up and leave you know you could just you know keep it you know just keep playing it because you've gone so far why did you leave and the reason is because i have what's known as short-term interest now i don't take things for long-term interests so i don't play games that require a lot of time to build up to the maximum level i like games that are short and you can get the maximum level in a short amount of time because that's just satisfying for me. And so I found Dragon City and I was like, yes, this is my game. And so I did everything that I could and then just uninstalled it. That That's my way of playing games. Now that's my way of playing games. I know that there are some people who play games, you know, for a long amount of time. I know there are people who play it for like a year straight and just try to get good at it. And I respect that, but I don't have the interest to last me a year of playing the same game over and over and over again. It, it just seems boring, alright? Another game that I play re now because of quarantine is Roblox and one game that I particularly play a lot of is Arsenal. Well, I, I do play a lot of Bloxburg but what, what can you do really in Bloxburg? I mean, you just build things and yeah, that's it. It's basically a Roblox version of Sims which, you know, Roblox is basically copying every other game. I mean, have you seen Imposter on Roblox? Have you seen Blocks Falls? I don't know what the name is, but the Roblox version of Fall Guys? Yeah, <laughs> Roblox has the potential to copy every single game, so what can you do? So basically, back to Arsenal, I was in quarantine and I didn't know what to play. I already had played Roblox, but I haven't heard of the game Arsenal. Now, I was first introduced to Arsenal because of a Dan TDM video. And yes, I watched Dan TDM, don't come after me, but I watched him play this 
first person shooter game but in roblox and i was like hey this is quick it's fun you get to murder people sign me up boys so after i saw the video from dan tdm i was like yeah i'm gonna play it so i played it for a good few hours and you know what i really enjoyed it i really liked the quick face of it the pace of it it's really quick easy simple and yeah i just really liked it but after the first day of playing um the next two days i played for another few hours and then the next week it became every day for a few for a few minutes or 30 minutes at a time and then it became every day for an hour and then it became every day for two hours and then y you know what i mean it's it became an addiction so basically i was playing it almost every day for a couple of hours and you know what i i respect the people at who made roblox arsenal because it was a really clever gimmick it was similar to how Fall Guys, you know, blew up. Or maybe Among Us, I don't know. Ask Film Theory or Game Theory to solve it. I'm not him. But basically, Roblox Arsenal is good for people who are not good at playing the games and just who want to have fun playing the game because it's easy to play. But then, if you want it to be competitive, then you can also do it as well because there have been turn tournaments because of Roblox Arsenal. I mean, if you look at YouTube, roblox arsenal you can probably find like a lot of tournaments where that people held for roblox arsenal which i think is really cool now the thing is is that i am a competitive person i am competitive in every single way either in like tasks games especially games because I want to be number one, so that's why I only played for a few weeks, and then if I'm already like very good at it, I just drop it. I don't know why, it's just good for me. Don't question my mental state. <laughs> I know there are a lot of gamers or people who play games and say, Oh my gosh guys, I'm here to just, you know, play for fun. I'm not going to try to aim for number one, but if I do get it, then it'll be super cool. But, you know, I don't mind. I'm just here to have fun, you know. Ha 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 ha. And I'm not trying to make fun of anyone, by the way, who, who always think that or always say that. Because it is true, people can just play it for fun or be just because they're bored. But to me, it just doesn't make sense because... I feel like everyone wants to be that 1% who can be very good at a game and then just destroy everyone else. And I am like that. So I try really hard and I, I mean I like train <laughs> at the game for like a couple of weeks. And then when I get good at it, I'll battle with some of my friends who are really good at the game as well. And then when I beat them, I was like... I'm like, yes, I have achieved my highest level, I have accomplished my mission, now I shall leave and I will uninstall the game or just never play it again. And you know, it, it, it's sad because I work, I put time and effort into making the, playing the games and making my skills like perfect, but then I just suddenly leave the game and it's just a waste. <laughs> But luckily, Among Us doesn't require any skill and basically you just have to be good, good at lying. And you know, what? from what I've heard, I am not very good at lying. I always laugh when I'm lying. So, you know, Among Us maybe is not my strong suit or maybe I can just maybe get better at lying because of Among Us. Who knows? Oh, and also speaking of Among Us, I have played the game Among Us and... You know, it's basically a copy of Werewolf, but with tasks, so I'm not mad at it, but it's like, it's so weak. <laughs> I don't mean it in a bad way, but it it's not so original. I mean, like, even Roblox copied it, so it, it must be not the most original thing ever. So what have we learned today? I learned that... I have a short-term interest, I am very competitive, and Among Us is basically a copy of Werewolf. And you know, the lesson for today is play Among Us because it's fun and you get to lie to your friends. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, then please consider leaving a like because it tells me, hey, you enjoyed this video, so I'm gonna make more of it. 
And as always, hope you have a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next one, I guess. Bye!